Welcome to Full Frontal Fatherhood. My name is Julian Redwood, and today I'd like to talk to you about a far too common predicament that happens for men in the home, where we feel like second-class citizens, where we feel disempowered and controlled by our partners, where we feel like not an equal partner, but something that is told what to do and given lists of how to be a good husband, not a team member, somebody lesser than. This is a horrible experience to feel this in our own homes, in our own families, to not feel empowered as an equal member and thus unable to really enjoy yourself at home. So if you're feeling walked on by your partner, here are four things that you can do to create that balance and come to create a really good home life for you and your whole family. The first thing is to go talk to your partner about it. She's probably unaware of what's happening for you. She probably has her own disappointments and is caught up in her own suffering. But if you can create the space to tell her how you're feeling like a second class parent, how you're feeling unheard and just being controlled, that you feel like a kid who's constantly being given lists of what he should do and what he shouldn't do, how you don't feel like an equal member of the team. If you can express to her that you want to create a functioning team where both of you are equally empowered, this will help her to realize what she's doing and support you. You also need to realize how you can change the team by stepping up, and I'll get to that in a moment. The second thing that you need to do is to give her space to talk about what's happening for her. If she's expressing a lot of disappointments in an indirect, nagging, controlling way to you and providing lots of uncomfortable lists and attempts to change your behavior, then obviously she's not satisfied and she needs a place to constructively express her dissatisfaction and have those disappointments attended to in a healthy way. Ask her what's going on for her. Find out what's happening in her experience. Give her the space to really talk about what she needs and what isn't working for her. When both of you have that space to acknowledge what's working and what's not working in the team, then you can come to create a well-functioning team. This leads to the third thing that you need to do in order to change this dynamic, and that's assert yourself. When your partner's stepping in to control you or micromanage you, remind her that you got it. She is wired to get in there and control the whole home. Her body is saying, I need to make this safe for my family and to make sure that my partner is providing in the best way for my baby. If you are on the receiving end of that, it's horrible. But if you can remind your partner, I got this. It's okay. Yeah, I may fumble with this, but let me do it. It reminds her to just back off a little bit and control her own impulses to get in there and micromanage the situation. The fourth thing that you can do to change this dynamic is to step up. If you're slacking back, if you're allowing the woman to do more of this, what's needed in the family, then she's going to be disappointed and overwhelmed, and she's going to state it to you in all kinds of passive-aggressive, uncomfortable ways. If you're hiding behind your newspaper and not really taking care of what the family needs, then you're not carrying your weight, and it's going to lead to a very imbalanced situation where she's left with nothing but nagging you to try to change the situation. Obviously, that doesn't work. So find out what's stopping you from being an equally engaged member of the family. You can watch my videos, Why Modern Families Struggle and One Key to Being a Great Dad, amongst others, and explore what's happening for you that's preventing you from really getting in there. Do you feel insecure about being an equal partner and parent? Do you feel like your wife is better equipped to provide for the kids and so it's easier to hide from the chaos behind your magazine? Face whatever you're avoiding so that you can be an equally engaged member in those moments because it's deeply satisfying. It's not just about being a good husband. There's nothing in life, in my experience, that's more satisfying than providing for our kids in those tough moments. But you have to find your way to realize you can be empowered in those moments. So if you're getting walked on in your relationship, use these four things to rebalance it. Talk to your partner about what's going on for you. Give her space to really hear about what's going on for her. Assert yourself when she's introducing a new idea about how you should do something and step up to be an equal parent. If you use these things, you can create a family that thrives and is a lot more enjoyable for everybody. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Full Frontal Fatherhood. I'd love to hear your ideas about how to prevent yourself from getting walked on. Please join the conversation below, and I'll see you next time for another episode of Full Frontal Fatherhood. Take care.